Hello, lovely people. They're going live from York. Very late. Actually, I don't know how late. So hang on. Oh, yeah, an hour late. Um, been in London all day with a friend. And um, it's been really interesting. Firstly, it was absolutely... I got absolutely drenched. Like, it's been raining all day in London. And I've just come home and found that it's been beautifully sunny here. But I didn't go prepared to be drenched. But anyway, that's besides the point. So... A couple of things I noticed whilst walking around London. Um, I haven't been to London for quite a while, but I do actually really like it when I'm there. But something I did notice, which I've never noticed before, so I think it's a relatively new thing that Londoners seem to be doing, is they're being massively aggressive with um, hooting the horns the minute lights go green. So you've got like no amount of seconds to get ready to go at green lights. Now, I've just got a new car because we got crashed into um, in December. So we've got a, well, it's not a new car, but it's a newer car. And it's got that thing where if you're in neutral and have your brake on, it switches the engine off. And then when you put your foot on the clutch, it puts, puts the engine back on, which actually means if you're at traffic lights, it takes like an extra second to get going because your engine has to switch itself back on. So... I'm wondering with this, whether with this new thing with the cars that that just means that people aren't quite on it when the lights go green. But we spent the whole time whilst walking through London and we did a lot of walking. We got very, very wet that there were horns going the whole time because of people like waiting for a second at traffic lights. Now, I know there was also horns going with people being in um, traffic jams or whatever, but it was just like I've never I, I've. I've never just never seen it before so and what it made me realize is it just makes everybody really like aggressive and miserable so it's like London has stopped doing that but anyway um some of the nice things that happened to counteract the people who were being super aggressive with their cars was um we were going to a certain place me and my friend and we couldn't find it because the street some of the street numbers are crazy in London it's like they've just randomly put numbers on things that make no sense and um, we got lovely directions from some people who even though it was raining um spoke to us and told us exactly where we needed to go because it was in totally the wrong direction and then some really really sweet woman stopped in the rain and got wet and gave us her spare brolly which was broken but was just like super sweet of her that she went out of her way because we were really really wet to give us her brolly so that just counteracted the massively aggressive people who um were just hooting the horns the whole time it's like really miserable i'd love to know if other people have been to london recently if they've noticed because i've never noticed it be that like loud and aggressive before and then when i was waiting for my friend at her appointment i also got a lovely cup of hot chocolate which was super lovely and then because her appointment ran over and it was getting super stressful and stuff um, we missed our train home, which is why I'm doing my um, live late, because we've only just got in. And instead of getting stressed, even though there was loads of hooting going on and people were being really aggressive, we were just like super chilled about it and didn't get stressed at all and just made the most of it and went to a shop and mooched around. And it was really, really lovely because sometimes in the past I would have got really stressed about that. And it's like, oh, my God, we've missed our train. And what are we going to do? But we literally just sat and chilled out of the rain and worked out what we were going to do did we need to stay overnight for something or what we were going to do we were going to get another train home could we find a cheap train so that we didn't lose too much money and blah 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 and how could we make the most of it even though we were both absolutely drenched and stuff and it was just really lovely because I think in the past I might have got a bit more stressed about that and I just thought maybe it was because I'd just seen how aggressive everybody was getting with the whole hooting that it made me think oh, I just don't want to do that there's enough aggression going on over there I'm just going to be super chilled about it so that was really lovely and then I just wanted to give a shout out to my lovely husband because I'm feeling quite grateful that I've had a really lovely day even though it could have been really stressful a super shout out to my husband so I'll tag him below to say thank you so much for dropping me at the station for the one minute past seven train this morning and then he was supposed to pick us up at 5 30 but actually we didn't get that train and we got the train that got in at 9 30 which means he's been had a really long day 
and I just thought it's a lovely thing sometimes especially if well every day actually um, to find something to be grateful for and actually give a shout out so I want to give a shout out to all the people who watch my lives so I can see Joanne and Trisha and people it's really lovely to see you pop up even if you can't stay on so a big shout out to you and anybody else who regularly watches my lives when I'm just rambling on about stuff so thanks for watching everyone and for all those who share and if anybody wants to comment below about anything you want me to talk about or share especially at the moment um, with stuff hi to Anna so thanks to all you who watch my lives a super thank you to Dave for dropping me at the station at ridiculous time this morning and a super shout out to Nibby who I was on the train with because we had a really nice conversation about grief and loss and how it makes you feel and it's just given me some insights which is going to help me on my journey as I continue to grieve for my dad so I just wanted to put that out there but now I'm absolutely knackered my hair looks an absolute mess because I've been drenched all day and a big love and thanks to everybody out there you're all amazing keep being amazing take care bye